Hello my friends and welcome back to new video. In this video I'm going to show you how to use lazy row and lazy column just like this. I have list of uh, different programming languages. Here I have a lazy row and here I have lazy column. And we are using this uh, lazy row and lazy column in Jetpack Compose instead of recycler view without using any uh, adapter class. It's so easy. Let's get started. Here I have a new project. Inside it, I have created a list of uh, some languages. It's a simple a string list. Uh, I have a function, composable function named my app and I passed a modifier and uh, this list into this composable function. Here I have a column and inside it I'm going to create a lazy row. We don't need this content and here if you hold the mouse on it you will see the features of it. Uh, modifier state content padding and uh, arrangement and alignment like the normal row and column. These are the most important features of lazy row and lazy column. Now I'm holding the control and clicking on this lazy row. Here uh, inside this page uh, we have some data about uh, the lazy column and uh, lazy row. Here we have lazy list scope. Again, I'm holding the control and clicking on it. In this new page, uh, you can see we have here a function item. When we want to display a single item on a lazy row or column, we need this. And down below, if you want to display multiple items, we are using this items. So for this video, uh, we are going to show some uh, languages as the values of this column and row. So we are going to use this items function. Now let's start with the most simple uh, approach to this. So items and here I'm going to pass a number random number as the car and here a text and inside the text dollar sign it and it is the return value of this items function so you can rename it if you want I can write item for example arrow and here instead of it i can write item uh, let's check it here is the result one, two, three, four, five, six, till one hundred, and you can see them till then. Uh, actually, it's from zero to ninety-nine, so one hundred items. Uh, so you can see that uh, the lazy row works like this: you are passing uh, multiple items, and it will be displayed inside it. Now, uh, let's go further. Here to display the items, we need a layout for it. So just like uh, we had it in the recycler view in Android classical system, we were creating a layout for it and we were passing the data in the single item and uh, we could display it uh, on the screen. So here the same. I'm going to create a composable function. and it name row item then uh, here i have the list of languages i can pass it here uh, into this uh, row item but first let's uh, design the layout for this
Okay, here I have created the layout. I have a card. Inside the card I have a box and inside the box I have a text. Here uh, I'm going to have a variable uh, called name type of a string. Okay. Uh, now let's go to the top and uh, call this row item here. So instead of this text, I'm going to call it row item. And uh, we need the modifier. Go modifier. And the name. Uh, here, instead of this, I'm going to write items. And equals to uh, languages and here uh, these items will hold uh, the single items of this uh, array list so here i can pass uh, item now everything is ready to test let's check it Okay, here we have some blocks. Each block has a card, and inside it, you can see the name of programming languages. So, this is lazy row, very simple. And now let's have a lazy column. Uh, it's let's say completely the same, just uh, instead of the lazy row, we will have lazy column. And if you want, you can here add this uh, content padding. So adding values and for example, 10 dot dp. Uh, but as you see, here we have padding between the items and I have added here and uh, here in the layout. So if you don't want to use them here, you can have uh, the padding between the blocks here defined uh, in the lazy row. The same here. And this one also. I'm going to paste it here, but instead of a row item, we will have a column item. And we have to create this function. So here we have it. And we have to create uh, such layout for uh, the column item as well. So I'm going to create it. And uh, here, after the changes in the layout, you can see that we have the lazy column as well. So, uh, that was everything about the lazy row and lazy column. And in the next video, I'm going to show you a practical example uh, about the lazy column and lazy row, having images and uh, multiple texts and everything. So if you want to see that video, please subscribe to the channel right now and hit the bell button to be aware about the new videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video if you like it. And if you have any question or any comment, write down below in the comment box and I will be so happy to read them and answer them. Thank you very much. Have a good time. Bye bye.